seems deserted. I wonder how long it's been since anyone stayed here. Okay, this is Facade. This is an entry into Deceptionville, which is the first challenge of the Hammer Cup 2022 hosted on runthinkshootlive.com. And that is in association with Map Labs. I think it's a test tube. So there was nine days for the entrance to create a level based on the theme of Deception. So this is Facade, as I said, we had that kind of introduction text or uh, introduction voice line from Alex that has uh, obviously been borrowed from the the base game, but that's all right. That's actually a really good way of um, adding dialogue to your map. For instance, I know a lot of people um, say they can't you know, do voice acting or, or they can't afford voice actors. So, you know, just going into the lines that are available uh, when you go into Hammer and finding the lines that were used in the Half-Life games is actually a really good way of, uh, you know, adding voice lines. And that means you don't need to be, you know, adding, um, you know, text on screen or anything like that. And if I were to place this map somewhere within the Half-Life games, I'd say it's in episode 2, because there's the car, which I forget the name of. It's got, it's, it's, it's got a proper, you know, name, but it's been a while since I've played episode 2. This lobby, I'll call it a lobby, uh, of this, uh, the Mountain View Inn, seems to be, well, basically an area for exploration and softly breaking the player into the map. So if you contrast that this with the first map in this ville, which I played well over a week ago now, I seem to remember you open the doors and then you start fighting Metro Cops straight away. I think it was the map called Video Game. Um, not, nothing wrong with that, but the action happened very quickly. But in this level, we obviously get uh, the chance to go and explore. We can try these doors. I can't remember if I tried this, probably did. Um, and I'm guessing this area is completely blocked. It looks like you can't get up there and... I think it's been uh, a good job has been done of blocking up the stairs to show that you definitely can't go. I'm sure some people might get confused and you know clearly there's an invisible wall here but that's that's all right. That's It's not a horrendous crime I've seen and probably committed worse crimes myself. Ideally, you want to be using the fast head crab zombies in large outdoor areas. Not always. There are one or two examples of close quarters fast head crab zombies in the Half Life games, but usually they are in large outdoor areas where they can jump around and, uh, you know, their AI can um, have its full use basically. But I, I do like the kind of different variation of, of zombies. Because these guys, the slow normal zombies can get quite tedious to fight very quickly so... Having... Having a variety is good. That's basically what I'm trying to say but obviously I'm trying to fight as well. <laughs> I'm just wondering if these doors with handles can open because if they, if we're not going to go through them well maybe we'll come back through it but if not then you probably just want to be 
putting a door there that doesn't have a a handle on it because it saves the player milliseconds of time because they can clearly see oh that door is locked or even putting a box there or something again this might be me jumping ahead and we might actually be going to the other side of this door and coming back through it and going out here that might make sense but all of what I say is speculation or at least educated guesses it's good that there's side items to find, side rooms, so it's not one linear path. There is kind of a lot of exploration in this map, even though the map in itself is, or this, uh, the level so far has been pretty small. And I'm slowly working my way through it so I don't miss anything. Alright, doors like that are good. So maybe we are coming back through, I don't know. Oh! Nice, um... How much does that sit weigh? <laughs> uh -oh. What was I saying? Yeah, it was a bit of a... a surprise. I, I didn't foresee that coming. Um, but... Having a shotgun soldier directly in front of the door because it did warn us we did hear the sounds and the the, the combine voices uh, so it did it did warn us that's um that was a good thing so it didn't just throw us in but then you know he could have been a bit further off but obviously with shotgun soldiers you want them to be fairly close um not right up but you do want them the opportunity for them to get in close because the shotgun is a, a close range weapon at least in most games although you know in Half-Life 2 you could pretty much use it as a sniper in a lot of cases and obviously I think that might have been the deception or part of the deception there might be lots of deception there we go oh. There we go, sniper shotgun. Now I presume Alex is just going to jump, eh, uh, or stay up there and not jump down rather. Because I was thinking, there is like a jumping animation for Alex that you can utilise, but this is obviously part of the map in which we have to venture on alone and make our way back up. Possibly jump the gap. I don't want to jump ahead, but it seems like all of the Combine soldiers so far have been just standing. Basically just standing there, uh, waiting for you. Which isn't too intriguing. Oh, a bit of lag, I think, because I saved an autosave. It's, it's not that interesting. I don't think the battles have been bad. Obviously very, very close range. But the, the arenas are very open. I guess here you, you kind of have a lot of, you know, you've got places to hide. So it's not, it's not bad, but more variety in where the Combine are and what they're doing. But we might come across something interesting, because I always speak too soon. Back so soon? Okay, that was quick. Seems deserted. I wonder how long it's been since anyone stayed here. So, just to play through it again, as has been tradition for the past couple of maps, apart from the last one that I played, 
uh, the one that we had to stop, but good e exploration part at the start. Very well um, orchestrated in that. The map always, as I said, feels bigger than what it actually is. Obviously, you can't get up here. And I now know that this is the, the door that we're going to come through. Now, this just feels like a standard exploration part of a bigger sequence if it were in the Half-Life 2 universe, you know, in Half-Life 2 Episode 2. So it would be nice to have like a goal. Something to actually find. So maybe have a door, maybe be able to look through this door and see something that we would want. But that's just a suggestion. That's not vital. And I thought we were going to come through like this door and then try and make it out because I was I was kind of looking out for a clear map goal, which doesn't come until later on. I think I did mention the you know it's good to hide stuff like these ammo crates and item crates. Sorry, I meant item crate. <laughs> um. There's quite a lot for the amount of stuff going on in this map, but that's minor nitpick. Ah. <laughs> Gordon, how much does that sit way? Uh oh. Look out! I'm sure they made the noise the first time, which I thought was intentional to kind of show. I mean, obviously the alarm goes off you know that something's going to happen it would be nice if they if you heard them sh um, talking so they could um, be, be certain what's going to happen but overall yeah it's a nice comical line which I, you know, has been reused And I think I, I fully outlined all of my uh, criticisms and suggestions for combat. And at this point, it, again, it'd be... Unless I'm missing stuff. It feels like the map has lost a lot of its exploration that it had in the house and it's it's become linear so I would have more to find even just like hidden stuff now there might be hidden stuff which it doesn't look like there is but like hidden rooms and I don't know cool stuff to find Just to make it slightly more interesting, because one thing I think this map is missing is a... Uh, how should I say this? A key component, something to that makes this map memorable, that makes this map definitive and... Or, you know, the definitive part of this map that uh, identifies it from any other map. That's what this map's missing. You know, not every map... Or, uh, I know that not every map needs a boss fight, and I presume that time was a big factor when making this. So having Gordon oh, so soon? leave and then uh, it'd be nice if we went outside the door to kind of wrap things up. But yeah, that was Facade. Very, very short map, but had a lot of good stuff in it. And I have outlined the ways in which 
I think it could be improved. 